Advances in technology influencing multimedia. Improved bandwidth. Now, in bandwidth is associated with information process of transmitting and receiving. And essentially, bandwidth relates to the amount of data that can be transferred over a network such as the internet. The more data that can be transferred at a time, the faster the network will run. Improved bandwidth has allowed for greater capacity for globalization in that businesses can be conducted from all the different parts of the world, okay, and with people in different geographical locations, okay, and in different countries. So the business might be established in America, but they can do business with people in Africa, they can do it in Australia, Asia, whatever, okay, and that's because of improved bandwidth because the lines of communication are working faster and more data can be sent at a time. Now, major areas that have benefited from improved bandwidth include streaming services such as YouTube and Netflix, which allow users to watch video data online without the need for them to actually download the video files to their system to what and then watch them. Okay, which is when I was a student in high school, the way it had to be done. You download a video file from a server, okay, and then you could watch the file on your computer. These days now with streaming services, it just streams the data to your system and you can watch it as it is obviously um, downloading the files, okay, and doesn't need to store it, obviously, then it removes it straight away. Okay, so it also saves on file size and provides a much more efficient service. Online stores as well, such as iTunes and Amazon, have also benefited from improved bandwidth through the transmission of purchased digital files to consumers, okay, directly, okay, and this is due to fast internet speeds, okay, so let's say I do want to purchase a game for my Nintendo Switch, okay, well, Switch has a Nintendo online store, and instead of me having to go out to EB and actually buy the physical copy of the game, I can buy the actual product through Switch's online store, okay, and the game will be directly downloaded, okay, to my personal Nintendo Switch so I can play the actual game. Okay, so that saves me having to go out, it saves me having to look the game, the game might be out of stock, okay, the file is up there on Nintendo's servers, okay, and because that file is there, it is unlimited how many they can distribute at a time, they are only bound by their own bandwidth, okay, and how many users can access it at a time. Okay, so we'll try to illustrate what bandwidth actually is here on our next actual screen. So let's just say that we've got two systems, this is system one, and this is system two. Okay, and we're going to use a switch to connect these two systems and we're just going to set up a small network. We're going to use these two blue lines to represent our bandwidth and essentially, okay, if we've done our communication systems unit, we know a switch is a central node for connecting multiple systems together. They exchange data between each other, system one and system two, through this central node of the switch. Okay, and as we could see there, they both had a single row of data going through all those zeros and ones. Now, I'm trying to kind of graphically show what improved bandwidth means, okay? So we're actually going to increase the width of those blue bands, okay? So we've increased our bandwidth, we've stretched them, okay? And obviously, we're using that as an actual metaphor here. But you can see we can push more data through because the lines are able to carry more data, which means more data can be exchanged between the two systems of one and two, okay, at a time because we do have the improved bandwidth. Now, essentially, although I was saying those two blue lines are a metaphor, how do we increase bandwidth? Well, there are a few ways that you can increase bandwidth, and they're all trying to be represented here on the screen. The first one is the type and quantity of trans uh, transmission media being used and quality of that transmission media being used. Okay, so we've talked about twisted pair and optic fiber before. Essentially, optic fiber is the best. It's got the highest bandwidth out of all the, the transmission mediums, the wide transmission mediums okay it's just expensive okay and also to, uh, for the cases like the internet it's got to be put into the telecommunication lines very expensive process but it has uh, by its nature by the medium that it is the highest bandwidth because it does have those fibers that are pushing laser light through them in order to distribute data hence the larger bandwidth and we can because they're also thin as a hair we can line them up side by side okay in a much more dense environment the second thing represented here is the device hardware, the systems themselves, okay, and essentially it's the network card inside those systems allowing them to interact with the network. That impacts on bandwidth too because of how quickly and how much they can send and receive data at a time. And then the final piece of hardware on the screen, okay, is the switch, okay, representing network hardware. The capacity of the central node, the switches and routers that connect the networks together, okay, they impact the bandwidth as well. Okay, so all that technology and improvements in this technology have led to improved bandwidth, allowing better online systems to run and better online multimedia systems, some things to grow such as online gaming, streaming video services and purchasing digital products online for download have all improved through improved bandwidth, okay? So I hope this helps you understand what bandwidth is.